do this. This is a crime. <laughs> Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today we're checking out yet another musical instrument. Today it is whatever's inside this bag. Ben, can you guess what's inside the bag? A liar. Now, a lyre is a type of harp, and I've never used a harp before, so I'm quite interested to see what this one's like. Obviously, I went for the cheapest one I could find. I picked this one up on Amazon for about £30, so I'm not expecting the best quality, but let's see what we got for our money. So first off, we should mention the bag. Now, I'm not a big fan of the colour. It looks like an old school first aid kit, and the zips don't look too great. They don't have a great feel, but, you know, it does the trick. Inside the front pocket, we have replacement strings, and we've got a tuner, and then, of course, we have the lyre itself. It's pretty. It is a pretty little liar. Let's see what I did there. This liar has quite a basic build. I do like the fact that it has some nice etching in the front here, though it does look a bit cheap. If you look really closely at the etching, it looks like it might have been done with like a cheap laser or bad chisel. For an eight year old Chinese boy's hands. Yeah, that's also probably true. You've got your sound hole in the middle there, and you've got your tuning pegs just at the top. I'll show you how to use these in just a bit because, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's pretty out of tune. It's actually got quite a solid build. I can't imagine this breaking anytime soon. Considering the price, I thought this thing was going to be really flimsy. I'm not exactly sure how you're meant to hold it. I know it's got a little groove here where you can replace the strings, but I thought you might sit it on your knee. The lyre has its roots in ancient Greece, but looking at the ones online, they look a lot different to what we've got here. So I'm not exactly sure what lyre this one is based off of. The dragon on the front kind of makes me think of whales, but I'm going to guess that's not it. Considering we got this one from Amazon, I'm going to guess its roots lie somewhere in China, probably deep in some dark factory. So let's get down to actually tuning this thing and seeing what we can do with it. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Already noticed a bit of a problem here. When you tighten the string, it has a tendency to come loose when you let go. Yep, just untunes itself, which is not very handy. Oh, that sounds like a good place to be. And then let go. Maybe if I tighten it up a bit more. Ooh, no, still doing it. Oh, and where I've tightened it, you can see that it's kind of knocked the tuner over a little bit because it's quite loose in there. Oh, this is what I get for buying a cheap one. Let's try one of the smaller strings. What happens when we tighten those? I imagine the same. Ah, oh, there we go. This one's going to be a bit of an awkward video. Ow. I guess this is a better time than any. See how easy it is to change a string. <laughs> First door-to-door -door salesman I haven't wanted to kill. All right, that's an absolute mess. I feel like this video's barely started and we're already saying, don't buy this thing. To be fair, that sounds better than it did before we tried tuning it. Exactly. This thing should really only be used for ornamental reasons, which is kind of sad because they obviously intended it to be an actual instrument. It comes with a bag, it comes with a tuner, it comes with the strings, it comes with everything, but it's rubbish. Are you seduced? Are you aroused? Oh! Can't do this. <laughs> this is a crime. <laughs> I was going to finish this video next time Ben was in the studio, but considering everything that's going on in the world right now, that's not going to happen anytime soon. So today, I'm going solo, much like my mustache. So I got in touch with the guys on Amazon, which I originally bought the liar from, and when I told them that it was completely rubbish and it didn't tune, they seemed pretty surprised and they sent us an entirely new one. No questions asked, didn't need to return the other one. Now you might have noticed already, it's in a completely different color bag. The other one was like that really ugly red, whereas this is just a nice basic black, which I much prefer as it matches 75% of my wardrobe. Now let's see if the liar is actually any different from the last one. Is it just me or is this one made from a completely different wood? The first one we got has a light brown glossy finish, whereas this one has a dark brown, almost matte finish, which looks a lot better. Also, the new one is ever so slightly taller than the old one. How weird is that? Even the tuning pegs are different. Well, that is a bit weird, but it does give me hope that this one's going to work better. This one didn't come with any extra strings or a tuning key, but luckily we've got the tuning key from the last one still. And thank God we do, because it definitely needs it. The moment of truth, can we actually tune this thing? Oh. It's not moving. That's a good sign.
not great, but still vastly better than the other one considering you can actually tune this thing. Wow, I am absolutely surprised that we've got a working liar from these guys. <laughs> Turns out if you buy a really crappy instrument on Amazon, just complain about it, they'll send you a brand new and probably better one than they sent you originally. I definitely could do a better job with the tuning, but it'll do for now. Now to play the song of my people. By my people, I mean the people who have a basic understanding of how guitars work. Close enough. Close enough. Just like that. Perfect. What was that meant to be? I would tell you, but I would get copyright strike for such a pristine performance. Well, I'm done sucking at the liar. In turn, serenade me. That was actually surprisingly good. I really thought the was a really nice way to wrap up that. So it turns out that you can get a good quality cheap liar online. You just need to get a really bad one first, then complain, and then they'll send you a good one, which is a really weird way of doing business. For one, this new liar actually tunes, which is very helpful. It's solid. The matte finish just looks way better than the glossy one over here. So overall, this is just an all round better liar. So if you've recently bought one online and it turns out to be just a hot stinking piece of garbage, go ahead and contact the person that you bought it from and maybe you'll end up with one which is 10 times better or you might be unlucky and end up with another rubbish one. And suffice to say, two bad liars don't make a good one. This one goes out to you, Ben. God, I bet he's going to be really upset that he missed out on that one. And with that, that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Shout out to Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, Pika Foop, Luna, and Kai Preshaw on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. And if you like this video, hit like. If you like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on our social pages. If you want to support the channel further, check out the link in the description to our Patreon account. And you can also join us on our Discord server. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.